airport a place where aircraft land parks and take off the main heart of the aviation industry where million of the traveler pass on a regular basis and billion pass yearly a place where hundreds of the flight conduct take off and landing on the regular basis so today we are going to be talking about some of the terms that are being used in the aviation industry regarding the airports and its operation so let us begin the video it is the terminal building of singapore shanghai international airport all the airports in the world are being provided with a specific name and basically the airport are being divided into two type one is the domestic airport where all the domestic flight take place and another is the international airport where domestic as well as international flight take place or will be conducted and the tower that you are viewing over there that is atc tower so this tower will control all the aircraft movement in the airport uh, more information about this tower i will be providing you all in the upcoming videos but right now we are being focusing only in the airport so once you will enter inside the airport you will reach to your respective airlines counter you will be submitting your baggage over there and taking up boarding pass in the next photo you can see the singapore airlines boarding pass the flight number is sq011 the flight is originating from los angeles international airport and the flight destination is narital international airport japan so by looking at the boarding pass a normal person can tell about the detail of about the terminal gate boarding time seat number but the thing you can see over there in the boarding pass which is quite different is instead of writing the full name a short from a three letter word uh, about each uh, airport like for the los angeles airport it is written lax so these all codes are the commercial code which is being provided to the airport every airport has its two unique code one code will be iata code it is also known as the commercial code and another one code will be ICAO code or uh, this code will be used by the cap pilots and all for the navigation in the boarding pass lax which is written is a iata code that is the commercial code which is being provided to los angeles international airport and nrt is a commercial code that is being provided to narital international airport so whenever you are making an online booking or you are booking your flight then instead of typing the full name of the airport you can also type their iata code once you type the iata code uh, on the origin and the destination of the flight the origin and destination of your airport then you can get the name of the respective airport so that makes it easier for the airlines to uh, for management of their flights and easier for us to find the airport for that we need to know the commercial code that is iata code and ica code is basically used by the captains or the pilot for navigating their aircraft once they will enter the icao code or icao code in the computer navigation system then the aircraft will know the airport from which the flight is going to originate and for the airport in which the flight is going to land and according to that the aircraft will plan its own flight route after getting your boarding pass you will be moving toward your expected gate on the way you will have to go through a lot of check-ins done by the police and this checking uh, the strictness depend upon the country and the condition of the airport okay so once you reach the gate 
then one thing you will find over there is only that airlines is using that gate for it commercial flight and the thing over there is the gates are being bought by the airlines so that only that airlines can operate through that gate and the flight might change but the airlines or which is operating will remain the same for example if the gate number 31 is being used used or bought by the singapore airways then singapore airways flight will be conducted or the passenger will be boarded to the aircraft through that gate only other and from the other gate the boarding will not be done this thing is there in the major airport so the gate it gets two type of connection with the aircraft the one way of connection is by bus and another one another way is through air bridge so these are the two different way that uh, a gate can function the a bus can pick you up and drop you to the air, uh, aircraft or a uh, air bridge will be there which will be uh, connecting the guests directly to, to the aircraft the air bridge which are there they are different according to the design of the different aircraft like for the airbus a380 it's a double decal aircraft so two uh, different type of air bridge are used one is being used to fill up the lower deck whereas the another air bridge is used to fill up the upper deck same in case of boeing 747 and when you will see in the smaller aircraft like airbus a320 normally the boarding will be done by the help of only one air bridge and where sometime in the boeing 777 or boeing 777 or the wide body aircraft the boarding will be conducted with the help of two air bridges. when the aircraft are being parked all the aircraft are parked or the specific aircraft are parked in their assigned position only a guy over there will be monitoring the nose landing gear and when it will be uh, when the nose landing gear and the aircraft assigned mark which is being given on the ground is matched then it will uh, tell the pilot to stop and apply the brakes uh, that means like when the aircraft airbus a320 is entering towards the parking gate then once the nose landing gear touches the mark where it is written airbus a320 then the person will command the captain for applying their brakes and the aircraft will come in complete stop okay so there is one more term which is being mostly used that is the apron so apron is basically the place where the aircraft are being parked so wherever the aircraft are parked it is known as the apron so whenever you will hear the word apron in aviation at that time a image need to come to your mind that is the place where aircraft are parked so that is all for today's video if you like the video before leaving make sure to like share and please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and please let me know your valuable reviews about the video which i have made or any uh, suggestion you have for me to implement in my video in the comment section i hope this video might have been helpful for you so until for the next video